As I film this, the clock hasn't even struck noon yet, but you can see the lines are already long here at the Pocosin Seafood Festival. But when you've had to wait three years for something to return, what's a few extra minutes? Little crab hoedown! Oh, wow. If the crabs aren't dancing, they're being eaten. This weekend marks the 40th anniversary of Pocosin Seafood Festival. Flounder. And like so many other big events, it had to take a break for a few years. If you're wondering if it was missed, all you have to do is look at Saturday's morning rush. Sitting on the Chesapeake Bay, seafood is life for many here in Pocosin. This festival, the town's salute to watermen and the culture on the coast. Organizers say thousands drive in to check it out, but it takes a village to support something like this. We have as many walkers to the event who are neighbors and they have big parties and they park in their yard and also walk to the event. So it is a, a mainstay to the fall calendar. Fresh clams, uh, steamed or fried shrimp, scallops, a number of soups. We got a behind the scenes look at two of the big vendors here, Graham and Rollins and Captain Harold's, both well-oiled machines serving big crowds. Then there are all the different vendors selling everything from art to shirts, all in support of the area's family owned businesses. But of course, the star at the seafood festival is always going to be the seafood. If you want to come to the Pocosin Seafood Festival, you have until tomorrow, Sunday, to do so. Here in Pocosin, Anthony Sabella, News 3.